Skill Light here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a dripping or leaking Price Fister bathroom sink faucet. You actually have to buy new cartridges. The cartridge, I will have the number, model number of mine in the description, and the cartridge numbers to help you out. I got these for less than $9 each. Tools you're going to need for this style, you're going to need a Phillips head. If you have the ones that are rounded, you're going to need an Allen wrench that fits it. And you're going to need a wrench. Now, I've also got a needle nose and a small flathead. You'll see why. And you could also use one of these if you don't have a wrench. If you've not already done so, be sure to turn the water supplies off underneath the sink. You turn them all the way clockwise to turn them off. So if you have this particular model, this piece right here, use your fingernail to pop it out. It's the same on both sides. You have the ones that do the hook. There's a Allen screw underneath Phillips head. And just unscrew them. And these will just pop right out. And mine still has the original label here, the model number. Look it up on their website and it'll have a parts breakdown. And that's where you get the number for the cartridge that's going to fit yours. Counterclockwise, loosen this up. Make sure you got the water turned off underneath. Yep, there might be some water coming out. You might want to add a cloth, towel, or paper towels or something on your to your parts. Okay, so it is come loose. Now you just got to pull it up. And then this, this just pulls up. And the thing is, it's going to come apart. So Price Fisher doesn't use the conventional seals which is why you got to buy the new cartridge but they do I give it credit it did last a long time you might be able to pull up the pieces with your finger I find that a little flathead screwdriver actually seems to work best for me but you also might be able to use the needle nose because this little piece is going to get stuck guaranteed Pull your ring off, remove this, put your ring on, you see there was an o-ring here, and hopefully that's going to be big enough, it sure looks smaller than the old one. This will actually go over this now, and I'm not sure that o-ring is sufficient is the new one for here. Like so. So now you push that in. Now I'm going to put this on. Tighten, do not over tighten. Now, we don't have the handle on yet. This is cold. I want to see if that O ring, that blue O ring, blue for cold, is going to actually seal it. As you can see, it does not. So, how do you fix this? Well, pull the blue one off. Pull the old O-ring off. If you have a new one, go for it. Put that one on.
you'll know if you have it too tight because it won't want to turn. Now let's turn it on. This time it's not leaking. So that's the cold. Now you take the handle, it's off. So put it in the proper position, this quarter turn. Phillips head to tighten it back up. Oh, you might put that back on. And then you got your cap to finish. There you go. That's and then the other side is the, exactly the same. Okay, both have been replaced. Both line up perfectly. No drips. Successful. Hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with yours.